if you like saving time, and who doesn't, of course, then you're probably going to like the next feature I'm about to chat with you about. So it's called tabbed browsing, and you've probably used it on Google Chrome and Safari and Firefox, um, but if you are not as tech savvy as a lot of people I know, then tabbed browsing might not sound like anything that you should care about. So here is how it works on the iPad. Uh, it's basically a time-saving way for you to keep track of all the stuff that you're browsing on the web. So we're going to go to the Safari button right down here, and I've loaded up apple.com uh, so you can see what it looks like right now. You can scroll around and browse to your heart's content, and that's not really why we're using it. It's a great web browser on the iPad and all that, but what we're focused on is this little plus sign on the top right. Do you see it there? You tap the plus button, and that'll open up a new tab. So and now you can choose some of your bookmarks. If we had more bookmarks or recently visited places, then this would be more populated. But in general, you can click on the folders that they, ha that they have already set up. And let's say we want to go to Disney, because who doesn't love Disney? So basically, now you have a new tab open, and you have the Disney page, but you still have that Apple page loaded on the left which is pretty great. So basically you can continue to browse the Apple site and explore all that stuff while the Disney site loads. So you can load both of them simultaneously. So we can load Apple. You can see the little blue bars loading, uh, which I think is a nice addition to the latest iOS. And really you can just continue to browse this and lo and behold, over on the right side, the Disney website is also loaded now. So you can just scroll around here and you still have both of them. But you can un you can basically have an unlimited amount of tabs open. So I'm, I'm just continually tapping the plus sign here. And it just keeps getting, uh, they keep getting a little smaller and smaller. So the way it works is once you have more than seven uh, open tabs, you can tap the little blue bars and it'll show you the other tabs that are open. So it's not the most elegant solution, but in general you can see that you have you know, quite a few tabs open. So what are you gonna do with all these tabs? You can actually hit the X button. So see where it says favorites on the tab that is open right now? Tap the little X button and that'll get rid of it. So we'll do that a few times, a couple more times, and now we're back to Disney. So it's all pretty easy to use. So you can look at just about anything you want on the web as long as it doesn't have flash, which a lot of sites don't anymore. And you can also keep these open and you can bookmark them and do whatever you want. It's all pretty easy to use. So I'll close out of all of them and it'll just bring us back to this familiar uh, loading screen right now. All right, so that's how you use tabbed browsing. I hope it saves you a little bit of time.